Good morning. If you've seen any of our previous posts, you may have noticed our traveller. We used to have a mesh stone guard on the front. I've taken that off. And the reason being, I want to try something else. Is even with the stone guard on, there's a bit of damage to the front from stone chips. So the stone damage could have been from traffic coming the other direction, throwing stones up, but I don't think so. And the other problem I had was the stone guard was mounted across here. So to put the stone guard on, I could no longer use that jockey wheel mount. So I had to buy another heavy duty jockey wheel mount and then bolt that on there. Now the heavy duty jockey mount weighed five and a half kilos. The stone guard weighed 16.1 kilos with the mud flaps on. So there's nearly 22 kilos just to do that. So what I've done is invested in the stone stomper. So I can get rid of all that extra weight, put my jockey wheel back where it was, and hopefully solve the problem of flying rocks. So what we're going to do this morning is fit a stone stomper. With the stone stomper you send them all the measurements of the width of your caravan and the distance to your tow hitch and they make them up specifically for each application. Uh, it took about mm, six weeks production I think. It arrived last night. And apparently it's an easy fit. So we're going to give it a go. Comes all nicely packaged. A few pieces all wrapped in plastic. Comes with a set of instructions which if we get stuck we'll read those. We'll see how we go without the instructions first. When you're ordering it, one of the things you have to specify is what sort of attachment you want. Since I had the spare holes in the shank here, I actually ordered the one to go through the spare holes. But they came back and said, no, the most popular one is the one that goes around the shank of the tow hitch itself and bolt on. So that's what we've got. So it just goes over. If you're leaving it on, you tighten that up. And then in here, there's one, two, three brackets where the, the um, stone stopper from the caravan hitches on. And you can leave that on there. You can also buy covers so you can wind this up, slide the covers over, keep it in place. I think they're an extra 30 bucks or something. We'll just go to the van and have a look at it. So we have the stone stomper mat. Two brackets. Six tech screws. And a driver. Plus we have one bit of padding for the handbrake and two bits of padding for the uh, load level. Just got to wait for the batteries to charge up in my drill. So these are the protective ends for the weight distribution bars just in case they rub on the stone stomper and wear a hole in it. So you supplied two of these, four cable ties and the easiest way I can see to do it is to remove the chain, put the cover on, cut a hole in it, put everything back. That will do that.
so hopefully now we've got enough charge in the battery to put in six screws so just lining that up with the very edge of the van I don't want it sticking out any further line it up actually good that that popped out then because I forgot to check that there was nothing behind in the frame here no this is all clear would have been a disaster if there were gas lines or power lines or something through there and I drilled through them anyway back to the job Obviously not enough charge in the battery, so I'll have to go and get my big drill. Luckily I turned the camera off, was putting in six tech screws turned into a mission for me, being an amateur. Anyway, next step. Let me just undo the D-shackle. Side. On the other side, do the same. This is where you get to find out whether your measurements were accurate or not, I guess. At least I did one thing right. And then there's another bungee cord in the middle just to tie up around the chassis. So yeah, there you go. All hooked up. Just need some adjustment to tighten it up a bit. Got these pockets here in case you want to put another supporting bar in there. Not sure that it needs it. I just need to put a bit of padding underneath these brackets here. As far as taking an hour to do, I guess it, you could do it in an hour if you're a professional, but I'm not, so it took me a bit longer. There's a lot going on around this drawbar, so there's a lot of things to be tucked in, but it seems to used to fit fairly well just got to wait for lockdown to be over now but we can give it a test out today was supposed to be the day the auto electrician came and put in our inverter and a few other bits and pieces but that had to be cancelled because of COVID as well so when he turns up I'll give you an update of what he did to the van. See ya.